In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use shape layers and masks to create something like that in a matter of minutes. You can use this technique to your advantage while working in After Effects. Let us head out with this tutorial. Please grab your pen tool and draw the most ugly shape you can. So just draw something like that, start drawing so the shape layer number one appears on the screen and draw something like this. Like this, like this, okay. And this is your initial shape. As you can see, since this is selected, I can click on the points and I would like those points to be rounded, to have bezier handles. You can do this by selecting the left alt or option key if you are on a Mac and clicking on any of the points and the bezier handles become available. Okay, this one should be also rounded, this one, and maybe this one. So the upper ones will be rounded because we want somehow a liquidy effect. Okay, this will be the base for our animation. Now by having this shape layer selected, select your rectangle tool. This will be the ellipse tool. I'll click on the ellipse tool and instead of making a shape, I'll create a mask because we want a perfect circle here. I'll select my shift key and I'll place this mask here. If you somehow go wrong with the mask, just take your selection tool, grab it, double click on it and you can grab and put the mask here. Now this is the point where our super fun animation starts. So I'll select the shape layer, I'll open my contents, shape, path one and this is the path. You see this ugly thing? This ugly thing can be animated. Yeah, that's right. So I simply animate it by selecting my stopwatch. I select again my pen tool and let's start the work. Let us maybe create a new point and start this animation. At, at the beginning, nothing is visible. I'll go page down, page down, page down, page down, a few frames and I start the animation. Somewhere like that. Maybe something like this. Page down, page down, page down, a few frames forward. It slowly gets animated inside. Page down, page down, a few frames more. Maybe the handles go a bit crazy, like this, page down, page down, page down, and I slowly fill out the circle. So we have a really gooey liquid motion, and page down, page down, page down, page down. I'm a few keyframes forward, and I finish this animation. Let us watch how ugly this actually is, and it's not about the animation, it's about the possibilities which this technique gives you. So you would have an animation like that, that's fairly too quick. I would select all keyframes, I would select my left alt key and I would drag them out. So the entire animation will be about one second and five frames. Let's preview. Okay, this looks fairly better. You could also right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them to make this look a bit better. Wow, really amazing. I will not fine tune this more. I will just duplicate, control D, duplicate once again and let me offset this by five frames, five frames, five frames, 10 frames. Okay, we have three circles now. I would select the second one and I would work with the fill. Let's select something relevant to this background, maybe something brighter, the next color, something bluish, something that will work with this background. Let's maybe something greenish like that and let's preview the animation we have. As you see, we have a nice liquid motion and you could eventually adjust each of those keyframes. Thank you so much for listening to this tutorial. You can watch other of my videos on my channel. Please also subscribe if you want to stay up to date. My name is Andrzej Pach and this was a simple After Effects tutorial about those crazy circles.